Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about three steps you can take to start your vet school application. I got into the vet college last year and right now I'm working on finishing up my first year of vet school. It's been an incredible journey, so I really want to share with you my experience on how I got here. If you're thinking about applying to a Canadian vet college, there are three big things that you kind of want to start early on. Most people would say high school is a really good place to start, but really, you can start at any point in your life and work your way through the best grade application. So the three big things are residency, academics, and animal experience. The first one can be a little bit confusing. So just to tell you a little bit about myself, I was born and raised in Beijing, China. I used to be an international student here. Then my family decided to immigrate to Canada about two years ago. So now I am a Canadian permanent resident, which makes me a domestic student. If you are a Canadian citizen or permanent resident like me, then where you live or where your parents live will be hugely important for your application because there are only five vet schools in Canada and they're spread out geographically around the country. As a domestic student, you can only apply to the school of the area that you or your parents live in. So if you're living in Ontario, the only vet school you can apply to is Ontario Vet College. And this college is only open to applicants living in Ontario. Likewise, the Atlantic Vet College, which is the one that I go to, is only open to applicants from the four Atlantic provinces. So check which school you are eligible to apply to based on your province of residency, because different schools have different requirements on academics, animal experience, as well as whether they take reference letters. So, let's talk about grades. Your grades in high school don't really matter that much based on my experience. I did not take any bio, chemistry, or physics back in high school. So our admission officer just told me that I don't need to send you my high school transcript. That being said, most of your academic performance will be evaluated based on your college GPA. Now, vet schools don't really care what major you're in, but they do have prerequisites that you have to take in undergrad. For most Canadian vet schools, you need at least two years of full-time studies to complete these prerequisites. That's 20 half year courses. And half of them will be a hardcore bio, chem, stats, and math, and they are the required courses. And the other half will be your electives, which will be the last 10 not required courses that you have taken in the year before you submit your application. If you are submitting your application in 2020 summer, then they will look at the last 10 electives from 2020 winter to 2019 fall and so on. So you actually don't get to choose which course is going to be your electives. It's not going to be your highest one. It's going to be everything from the last academic year before you submit your application. So I would really suggest that you treat those electives as serious as your required courses. Okay, so now I'm going to give you my GPA. It's 3.9 by the time I graduated. It's a pretty strong GPA and I'm pretty sure you don't need that high to get into vet school. Um, anything above 3.5 will probably make you competitive academically. Some vet schools do not have a cutoff, but some do. I know that the vet school in Alberta has a 3.0 cutoff and the Western College in Saskatchewan has a minimum of 75%. But what you're going to understand here is that these academic requirements are not there to discourage you from vet school. You really want to enjoy these prerequisites because you would be building the foundation of what you will definitely learn more about in vet school and for life when you're in practice, research, or any field of veterinary medicine. I remember falling in love with science after my first year of biology. Everything was so new to me and I was always curious about what happens. And I still am curious because there are so many unknowns out there and every day we're making new discoveries. This is really how I know this is the right career for me. So really undergrad is a perfect opportunity for you to figure out what you want to do for your future. And being a veterinary professional is more than just loving and caring animals. You do need a passion for science as well. And now back to our academic requirement. Most Canadian vet schools do not require any standardized exam. My school was an exception to this, and we do need to take the GRE, 
but the good news is none of the Canadian vet schools require MCAT anymore. Just in case you're wondering, they used to. Mm. Moving on to animal experience, this includes all the experience you have in contact with any type of animal. Well, except for your own pets at home. But anyways, the more diverse, the better. For me, I spent two summers working and shadowing in two different small animal clinics. I also shadowed a horse vet for a week and I volunteered at a wildlife rehab center for a year. So that rounds up to be about a thousand hours. There's really no minimum requirement of hours, but I will probably aim somewhere around 400 hours. Some people have extensive experience before coming to vet school. Um, they might have worked as a technician or assistant uh, in the industry, and some people would have mostly volunteer experience like me. Again, the important thing is that you have a diverse mix of experience. My suggestion is that you get a good mix of small and large animals, wildlife, exotics, food animals, lab animals, and aquatic animals. You don't need all of it, but like I said, the more diverse, the better. Because whether you like it or not, when you are in vet school, you will be working with all kinds of animals. So there they are, the big three things you want to start thinking about if you want to apply for vet school. There will be some challenges and some moments of self-doubt, but really, if you guys start early on this and set your goals step by step, trust me, it will all be okay. And thank you guys for watching. I really hope the video was helpful in any ways. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment down below. I do take them seriously and I wish all the best for everyone.